ओके हाय एवरीवन द टॉपिक नेम इज सिंप्लेक्स मेथड और एलपीपी मेथड दिस टू टॉपिक्स आर इन ऑपरेशन रिसर्च ओके ना द थिंग इज समवट लेंदी इज देयर प्रॉब्लम बट इफ यू नो हाउ टू सॉल्व द प्रोसीजर रिमेनिंग थिंग एवरीथिंग विल बी सिमिलर टू दैट ओनली ओके ना रिमेनिंग एवरीथिंग विल बी सिमिलर टू देयर तो द टॉपिक नेम इज सिंप्लेक्स मेथड द नेम ऑफ द मेथड इज सिंप्लेक्स S I M P L E X simplex M E T H O A D method. Another name is there. What is the another name? L P P method. Okay, na? next one is the L P P method. So simplex method or L P P method. Simplex method or L P P method. Question will be given like this. Here maximum will be given. Sometime minimum will be given. So here max is given. What is the max? Z is equal to 6x1 plus 9x2. Okay, na? And subjected to what is given here? Subjected to subjected to what is given here? 2x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 24. 2x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 24. Next, what is given? X1 plus 5x2 less than or equal to what is given here? 44 less than or equal to 44. Next question. 6x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to how much it is given here 60 and what is given in your question and uh, x1 comma x2 is greater than or equal to zero or greater than zero uh, by using as by using simplex method s i m p l e x simplex method m e t h o a d method which method by using simplex method like this will be given so the another name of that simplex method is lpp method what is the another name lpp method here maximum equation is given what is that mag maximum equation z is equal to 6x1 plus 9x2 and subjected to 2x1 plus 2x2 is less than or equal to 24 x1 plus 5x2 less than or equal to 44 6x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to what it is given here 60 so standard form you have to write what you have to write first one standard form okay na s t a n d a r d standard form you have to write what you have to write is standard form in standard form take the maximum maximum is there na no need to convert maximum is designated with the letter z maximum is designated with the letter z so what is is given here 6x1 plus 9x2 6x1 plus 9x2 how many equations are given 1 2 3 total how many equation 3 are there so you can write 0 s1 0 s2 0 s3 0 s1 0 s2 0 s3 why you are writing 3 times because how many equations are given here three equations are given how many equation are given here three equation so z is equal to 6x1 plus 9x2 plus 0 s1 0 s2 0 S3. After getting that equation, then you have to write next step. What is the next step? 2x1 plus 2x2. 2x1 plus 2x2 plus S1 is equal to 24. Next one is that. X1 plus 5x2 plus S2. S2 is equal to how much? 44. Next one is that. 6x1 plus 2x2. Uh, then here you can write X3 is equal to how much? 60 so s1 s2 s3 you have to add s1 s2 s3 you have to add after adding s1 s2 s3 next step you have to write and then the next step what you have to write and a and d and what you have to write x1 is greater than or equal to 0 x2 is greater than or equal to 0 then s1 is greater than or equal to 0 S2 is greater than or equal to zero. Then S3 is greater than or equal to zero. Like this, you have to write S1, X1, X2, X1, X2, S1, S2, S3. All are greater than or equal to zero. After getting these values, after getting this value, you have to create the table. After getting this value, what you have to do? You have to create the table in that table first we have to write cb what you have to write cb next you have to write basic variable b a s i c basic v a r i a b l e variable basic variable then you have to write cj then you have to write cj cj means solution variable value solution 
वैल्यू सी जे इज नोन एज सोल्यूशन वैल्यू देन आफ्टर दैट वॉट यू गॉट द इक्वेशन फर्स्ट इक्वेशन हाउ मच यू गॉट वॉट इज दैट वन दैट इज सिक्स एक्स वन वॉट इज दैट वन सिक्स एक्स वन सिक्स एक्स वन प्लस नाइन एक्स टू प्लस जीरो एस वन प्लस जीरो एस टू प्लस जीरो एस थ्री ओके ना दिस इज द इक्वेशन सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्केल ड्रॉ द लाइन या फर्स्ट वैल्यू इज द सी बी फर्स्ट वैल्यू इज द सी बी सेकेंड वैल्यू इज द बेसिक वेरिएबल थर्ड वैल्यू इज दिस वन इज गिवन ओके ना थर्ड वैल्यू हियर वॉट इज गिवन दिस वन इज गिवन एंड द लास्ट वैल्यू टू हियर फॉन द इक्वेशन एंड दिस वन ऑल्सो like this and here also you have to join this one then in last if you want to write remark and another one is there mini ratio what is that mini ratio this both are not that much of useful mini ratio these are the useful words are there cb next one is the basic variable next one is the cj next one is the cj then here what is given Six zero equation as you can see in equation what is given six nine okay now in equation what is given six nine second one is the nine then a one two then three how many zeros six nine zero 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 so six nine zero 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 like this you got six nine zero 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 after that in CB you have to write always zero 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 in CB. What you have to write at the time of starting zero zero zero. Then basic variable. Basic variable you can write S one, S two, and this one can write as a S three. Basic variable is S one, S two, or S three. This one is known as the basic variable. Then uh, solution value. Solution value means after getting this one, what is the value? First value twenty four. Then forty four. Then Sixty. What is the first value? Twenty-four. Then forty-four. Then sixty. This is the value. Okay, now S one, S two, S three. Like this, you have to write. And in this, what I have to write? X one. This is the value for which value? X one. And this is the value for which value? X two. And this is the value zero zero zero. This is the value S one. This one is the S two, and this one is the S three. The first equation, what you got now, six nine zero zero zero, six nine zero zero zero. And here you can write the minimum ratio. What you can write here, minimum ratio, M I N I M minimum R A T I O ratio. And here you can write the remark. What you can write here, you can write the remark. Like this, you have to write basic variable and C B and solution value. Then equation. Then equation. In that uh, everything is available. Twenty four, forty four, sixty. First equation. What is the first equation? Two two, two two one twenty four, two two one zero twenty. Okay. Now uh, here you can write two, and these are also you can write two, and here you can write one in place of s. What you have to write one. Then this one is zero. This one is zero. Next one is the what is the value? Coefficient one. Phi three or one phi one, one phi one. Next one S two, S two. What you have to take here? A phi one phi. What is the value is given here? As you can see, phi one phi in the entire equation. Phi one one phi one. And here what you have to take after getting that one, the you have to take this value. This is one zero zero. Next zero one. This one you can as the zero. Then six. Next one is the six two. What is the value here? Six and this one is the two. So here you can write zero zero one. What you can write zero zero one. Like this you have to write. So for this again I will tell you. Always you have to write this table. In this table C B you have to consider as the zero zero zero. Basic variable you can consider as the S one S two or S three. S one S two or S three then C J is equal to after that equation whatever the after equal to is given that one is known as the C J twenty four forty four or sixty twenty four forty four or sixty from where you are getting this value twenty four forty four or 
60 then 6900 3 times 0 because 3 equation are there 69000 69000 after that what is the value 2 2 1 24 2 2 1 means after that 1 0 0 next one 1 5 1 1 5 1 1 5 1 next one 6 2 1 60 6 2 0 0 1 1 means you win that okay na like this you have to do it like this you have to do it after that what you have to write here zj what you have to write in this zj in this what you have to write zj how to find out the zj zj next step you have to find out the zj for finding zj i'll tell you the easy and best method to find the zj as you can see if you want to find out the zj what is the value here 0 comma 0 into 2 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 6 like this you have to multiply if you want to find out the zj like this you can multiply so here what is the first value 0 comma 2 so here i am writing 0 comma what is the value 2 plus next next value 0 comma 1 next value is equal to 0 comma 1 plus next value 0 comma 60 so sorry 0 comma 6 so here you can write 0 comma 6 this is 0 this one is 0 this one is 0 the sum of all is how much you are getting 0 first one is equal to 0 second one also also you will get the 0 third one also it is similar to the second one that one also you will get 0 and this one also 0 and this one is also 0 so how many zeros you are getting total 5 0 this is 0 0 0 0 0 means 0 into 2 plus 1 into 0 plus then 0 into 6 the final answer will be 0 next 0 into 2 plus 0 into 5 plus 0 into 2 this is the final answer then 0 into 1 plus 0 into 0 plus 0 into 2 this is the answer like this you got the value of zj next step what you have to do zj minus cj what you have to do zj minus cj zj value how much you got 0 cj value is equal to how much above above is known as the cj so 0 minus 6 how much you will get minus 6 next one 0 minus 9 how much you will get minus 9 next 0 minus 0 how much you will get 0 next one is the 0 minus 0 how much you will get 0 and this one is also 0 so here you got the value of zj minus cj in this value only you have to check whether you are getting all positive or all negative all positive or all negative as you can see you are getting two negative this two negative you have to change this two negative you have to change how to change that two negative 